Hi everybody, just wanted to show you how to use the video consultation system within Accurix and how you can possibly use that within our practice. So hopefully you've got the Accurix toolbar downloaded as you can see here by this particular part. Um, and as you can see, there's different tabs. There's one for text messaging and there's one for video consultations and stuff. Um, the text messaging one, just to run through that, this allows you to send a text message to a patient. I'm on Bugs Bunny. This is not a real patient, not a real number. Um, and as a result of this, you can search for templates. So for example, we have some more Wellspring ones like IAPT numbers, NHS app, physiotherapy, when should I worry leaflet in English and in Polish and the x-ray numbers. And then there's various other templates already held by Accurate that you can use, such as MedReview if you wanted to do that one just type in med and you can see there's a medication review invitation one and you can then adjust that as you want so you can see it's pre-populated it with some information you can adjust that if you want and then send that you can also add in nhs.uk leaflets if you need to just by typing it so if we're doing some knee pain knee type it up click pain and as you can see it's added the link within the message there is a new function that allows a patient to respond once if you wish to do that if you're asking questions and stuff but in terms of doing so that's not currently being used by us more importantly, what I did want to show is the video consultation um, aspect of this. And so that's when you click on the camera. You do need to close any existing ones you've got. And it looks pretty much exactly the same. The difference is there is an extra mobile number uh, field here. Now, this is the patient's number, and this is would need to be inputted as your mobile number that you use for the device. This is if you do not have a webcam on your computer because um, otherwise you have to use a mobile device to do so. I would highly recommend you connect to the Wi-Fi if you're doing so. Important to note that the patient will not get your mobile number through doing this, so there's no issues in that, and they've confirmed from data IG and all the other kind of stuff this is appropriate and safe for us to use if we need to. And simply put, so you have the patient's number and you put your mobile number in if you want, and then as a result of that, click send and save, and what will happen is the patient will get a text message and you will get a text message. By using that link, you will then be able to start the consultation. Now, if you don't have a mobile that you can use and you do have a webcam, then you can use the, mo the system without putting the number in, just type in NA or something else effectively and click send and save. So for demo purposes, I'm gonna do this. So you click NA and as you can see, it puts the details in the patient's record and there's a link that you can see here. If you click on that, it will open a window and I'm just gonna bring it across because it's on my other screen. And I'll ask you if you want to join. At the bottom, it may say that you need to approve the use and there you can go. You can see me on my side waiting for the patient to come in. You can copy and paste that across if you needed to, if it didn't send properly, some, for example. Um, but when the patient joins, they will come up on this screen and you'll be able to have a video consultation with them. And it sounds pretty okay. Um, it works pretty well. Mobile device, it does work a little bit quicker and faster from what I can see and it doesn't require you to download an app or anything. Uh, it doesn't record. There's no issues in terms of IG. Uh, we've had that pretty much confirmed from our data people and stuff so safe to use effective to use it means that you can have a consultation with the patient if this is more appropriate particularly with the coronavirus stuff happening hope that's useful let me know if there's any questions or comments and happy to try and help as best as we can